Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh and once again we are going to discuss about interview questions. This video I am making on demand of a couple of my students who have already gone through my tutorials and whom I have taught. So on the special request I am preparing this video. Fine. So today we are going to discuss about all the questions which are usually put in the field of user administration that how do you add user how do you delete and, and what all but before starting this video guys i would like to request you to please like share and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon as you will be notified for my upcoming videos okay so uh, what is a user the very first question is what is a user user means user is a logical identity of a person process or any service on a system there are a couple of types of users are there uh, let us go through first of all this file which is etc pass library so first of all is a super user which is known as root after that your system user which are created during time of your use your operating system installation maybe it's less bin daemon adm ip sync shutdown halt so these all are users by default these users cannot perform any activity reason being because these are given as bin no login shell if shell is as bin no login so user cannot login but rest of stuff can be performed maybe user can upload files using uh, ftp maybe using file some mail services or maybe http service fine so uh, we should understand like user is a logical identity of a person process or any daemon fine so what is next what is login shell so login shell is nothing but a particular environment where and what a user can perform on the operating system whether a person is able to log in if shell is been bashed so user, user can log in and execute rest of commands if shell is has been no login or anything apart from has been uh, has been slash bash or slash bin slash sh so user cannot execute anything but user can perform some limited tasks which are performed by using some rest of services maybe http ftp or so on fine so can user upload files if login shell is has been no login yes user can upload file using ftp or maybe uh, user can perform activity these sort of activities using http protocol what is a group so if you talk about group group is a logical identity where multiple users are assigned same sort of services so that is also logical boundary on your operating system where multiple users can be assigned same sort of task so that is known as group okay what is primary group so whenever any user is created so if you go through a file which is slash etc and group so you will check here all the users which are created there the, so the same username is created here as well so these are groups it means by default whenever any user is created on the system so by default groups are also created with the same name or there could be some additional groups for example users so if you create any user and you don't create group so by default that particular user will be assigned to this group which is known as users maybe there are some rest of users created so uh, these are utilized during that moment when user's primary group is not available if you create any uh, group maybe you are going to run group add and you are going to write maybe sales you are going to write and once again if you read here uh, group file if you open so you will find the sales group here and that will be your secondary group the groups which you create using group add command so these are known as secondary users basically groups are created to manage permissions or uh, you know you can call like uh, attributes of a file on operating system so that's why groups are created and groups are assigned to any specific file or folder fine what is next question so next question is what is the what are the fields of etc password files so let us go through that once again although i have already explained but today i got a request so i'm going to explain so the very first field is username second field is password hash it means whether user's password is enabled or not then after user id then after this field is group id this file is users uh, comment it means users description you can write here then after uh, users home directory then after users login shell so wh wherever you see here the same uh, pattern is followed so there are uh, one two three four five six and seven fields 
first field is username second is password third is user id fourth is group id fifth is command sixth is your home directory of user and seventh is login shell fine okay then what is where log secure very good this question was actually asked to me that why do we use where, where log secure so let me open it for you slash where slash log and then secure so why do we use this particular so whenever we log into our system and we execute any command using sudo so whenever you are going to execute any command so obviously all the entries are recorded under under this file so under this file what we see here is like i have created a group because i created a group using ec2 user i logged into this system as ec2 user fine and after that i ran a command sudo su hyphen so session open for ec2 user by uid 0 it means i ran i logged into this system as ec2 hyphen user by uid 0 obviously because i ran sudo hyphen su command so the command was executed bin su when i executed that command so my present working directory was ec2 hyphen user the user was root and command was bin bin su then after session was opened by user for ec2 after that group add ec2 group it means group add command was added and name was sales group id was 100 was added and the details were added to this particular file so this is why we use atc uh, sorry we use where log secure okay what is use of bail group as we see that whenever any operating system is installed so by default there is a group created which is known as group group so there is a group created which is known, named, named as uh, users so in the same fashion if you see a file which is less etc and sudo sudo er er sudo so let me write here vi there is a file will group known as wheel wsl wheel so this is by default enabled in uh, rhl operating system that you can see here all the users which are part of wheel group so by default these are given full admin rights reason being wheel group is by default added here and as you w h w -E l wheel okay you can check it check it here like wheel group is given full access without any password so all the members of wheel group will by default have full permission so if you are working with any such a system where financial transactions are taking place so make sure you comment this out otherwise you will have to be in hot show if you add any user to wheel group by default or by mistake so that that user will have full access on your operating system or uh, you can be uh, you can be a part of compliance okay how to modify default attributes for user at command very good question so there is a file etc login dot logi and login dot apps okay 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 let me add vi here vi and then this file okay so whenever you run this command so whether mail directory will be created or not for user so you can modify here mail file will be created if created then what will be name so you can check it you can write here what is day what is password uh, maximum age minimum age then after warning period password length you can specify here user id minimum maximum group id minimum maximum sys uid minimum maximum you can modify here group id minimum maximum you can modify here and what else you can modify here is okay the attributes of your user del command whether you want to create home directory or not you can uh, modify here what is going to be you mask for the users you can modify here uh, user group enabled yes whether you want your primary group of users to be created or not you can modify and after that the particular password encryption algorithm you want to use encrypt method so SHA 512 is a particular method by which we are going to encrypt the particular password so these are attributes which you can modify here for example I'm going to create a user user here maybe login I'm going to create so if I check ID of login user so that is 1001 what if I modify a file that is uh, login.dash so if I'm going to modify here user ID file and I'm going to say that uh, minimum user ID value is going to be now 10,000 for example. So once again if I create a user I run command user add and I'm going to say log. So if I check ID of log user so that will be 10,000 reason being I have modified default attributes of this particular. Moreover there is a file that if uh, this is one interview question that I want 
whenever any new user is created so there should be home there should be one directory created inside that home inside that user or the directory should be copied for every user so what you can do is you can create directory here under uh, this particular folder which is known as less uh, etc scale so you can create a directory maybe uh, test and inside test you can create a file touch scripty script i'm going to create a blank file i'm not going to write anything here because this is blank file fine so okay i must write a script only one time do not get confused with this so i want you to type here only once but by default it came two times okay so if i create user now maybe user add i want to create tom so if i switch to tom or if i go to slash home and tom user if i switch to so by default test mode is available here and under test script file is available so this is one interview question which is usually usually put to all the guys who are going to face interview so this is uh, it for this video guys thank you very much for watching have a good time happy learning if you have yet not subscribed to my channel so please like share and subscribe to my channel have a good time happy learning from server again thank you very much for watching